Okay, have a good day students. So today we are going to see about the optical loss and gain. So as we are discussing about the uh, light interaction, so light matter interaction, particularly here it is, uh, we are discussing about the interaction between the semiconducting materials. What will happen when light interacts with the semiconducting material? <clears throat> so already uh, we have uh, discussed uh, plenty and here what is optical loss and gain during the process of absorption and emission so let us see optical gain that is related to the stimulated emission process so the stimulated emission process uh, this is the optical gain process uh, mentioning and this is uh, optical loss okay in the optical gain process you can see there are two energy levels so lower and higher energy level you can mention it as e1 e2 here also e1 e2 and uh, elect electron in the excited state absorb the energy the photon and it comes down by emitting two photons so hence it is uh, these two photons in turn uh, produce four photons so it will goes on so the amplification is taking place henceforth it is related to the optical gain so there is a gain takes place because of the stimulated emission but in the case of absorption that is not the case like uh, uh, stimulated emission here it is absorbing the energy and moving towards the higher energy and what happened to the photon it loses its energy and there is no emission or anything so this just absorption it losing its energy to the electron and that is called as optical loss okay so therefore optical gain is related to the similar emission process and optical loss is related to the absorption process okay now let us move on to the next uh, slide Here you can see, you just consider a cubical semiconductor material, cubical semiconductor material, what I have drawn here. This is a cubical semiconductor material and it is mentioned in X, Y and Z direction and uh, in this we are considering a slice of uh, material from the cubical material just like a bread bread slice okay just imagine a uh, cubical bread piece in inside that you are considering a uh, bread slice just like a uh, bread slice piece and i have uh, drawn this aside here you can see here this end the rear end that is uh, Z and uh, in between place that is DZ and here it is Z plus DZ it is mentioned here so it is uh, in three axis X, Y and Z right and S is the surface area yes surface area of the cube Here you can see rate of stimulated emission is given by RST uh, that is directly proportional to Z of nu which is nothing but the joint density of states. Rate of stimulated emission is directly proportional to the Z of nu. And the rate of stimulated emission it is also directly proportional to the probability of emission and also proportional to the number of photons or the energy density. Okay, keep in mind this energy density U of nu is the energy density. That is the energy density of the photon uh, incidence incident on the electrons. So this we are discussing with respect to the stimulated emission. So the rate of uh, stimulated emission is directly proportional to all these three components. That is Z of nu, P of E, sorry P and U of nu. 
so the proportionality is removed by a constant b uh, so b into z of nu into p into u of nu that is equation number one therefore rate of absorption so that is given by uh, instead of p you have to put p a that is the probability of absorption and we will obtain an, another one equation similar to this equation one uh, instead of uh, p we have p a okay so that we can see so when there is a stimulation so that is mentioned by b uh, i think you have heard about that b and a b a that is uh, a b coefficient einstein a, b, a and b coefficient this we have studied in the laser in the previous semester so here these two are simulated uh, process that is stimulated absorption and stimulated emission so b is used uh, so after uh, obtaining equation 1 we can have this equation um, equation yes is this slide two uh, yes here it is so here i have to write one more so rate of absorption is equal to b do is set of new p a do u of new that should be mentioned as two equation two not this one okay now it is okay so let s be the surface area of the sliced portion and width is uh, d z uh, number of stimulated emission is equal to rate of stimulated em emission into s into d z okay so s d z is the surface area so rate of stimulated emission r s t into s d z and the energy generated in this process so we have to multiply this with the h new value the energy of the photon so that is equation number three now emission of photons is directly proportional to the energy generation here similarly the energy absorption will be rate of absorption into s d z into h new so like the equation 3 we obtain this equation 4 also so similarly we have written this 2 okay so after obtaining equation 3 and 4 here yeah, this instant photons are uh, directly proportional to the number of atoms or uh, in this in this case it is electrons if it is atomic transition you can mention it as uh, atoms so here it is electrons so the net energy will be obtained uh, by subtracting these two equation uh, the stimulated emission minus uh, rate of uh, absorption so we subtract these two equation 3 minus 4 so the common term is taken and uh, outside you have s d z h new this value okay so we obtain the equation 5 so in terms of energy irradiance you know that some certain amount of energy uh, that is uh, light energy is incident on the uh, semiconductor material so here we consider only the uh, slice so in one phase it is mentioned as i new of z into s in another one phase it is there is energy leaving energy enter inside and energy will leave outside so that is mentioned as um, i new of z into s so i think it's from the back side it is entered and uh, it pass through the slice so here it is i new of z into s and it is i new of z plus d z into s
okay so the net energy will be i think i should up to this now the net energy will be you just take a difference between that take the only common term is yes so we obtain the equation uh, six after coming up with these two the uh, equations uh, five and six uh, we can equate that since they are the net energy values so you have these two equate these two equations and here yes is the common term that is the surface area we can cancel these two equations uh, to two terms and uh, here we can write uh, this i nu into z this term i nu into z plus d z that can be written as i nu of z plus dou by dou z of i nu of d z since the change is only along the z direction so we are uh, writing like this now substitute uh, this value here uh, so d z uh, rate of stimulated emission minus rate of absorption into h nu and uh, you expand no no you just substitute them. Uh, you substitute this in here minus i nu of z so here uh, i nu of z is there i nu i nu uh, this will get cancelled and uh, the only time this is existed d is it also cancelled from this So d i nu by d z from this uh, finally we got this value d i nu by d z is equal to rate of stimulated emission minus rate of absorption into h nu. We know the value for rate of stimulated uh, emission and uh, rate of stimulated absorption in the uh, I think third and fourth equation. So here you substitute that and the common terms are taken outside d z of nu into u of nu. Uh, this is the engine uh, coefficient and u of nu is the energy density probability of emission minus probability of uh, absorption into h nu and here this value this, this should be keep in mind uh, uh, that is uh, u of nu that is the energy density u of nu is the energy density which is given by the uh, irradiance energy irradiance divided by velocity not volume it's the velocity u of nu is the energy density so energy density is given by i nu divided by v small v that is the velocity so this is the energy radiance divided by velocity now using einstein relation einstein uh, a b coefficient a by b is equal to 8 pi h nu q by p q and A is equal to 1 by tau r. This tau r is given by the recombination time. Recombination time. Now, uh, substituting that A value there, instead of A by B, you have to put 1 by uh, E set, uh, sorry, E set, not E set, it's tau. Tau. Tau r b, that is equal to 8 pi h nu cube by c cube. Instead of C, you put B, C cube. So, B is equal to rearranging this, you will obtain this equation 9. Now, substituting equation 8 and 9 in 7. Okay, equation 8 and 9 in 7, we will obtain uh, this form. So, we can uh, substitute that. Here it is I nu by uh, small b, P e minus P a into okay so here uh, this step itself we can uh, delete that uh, here the square so this v square divided by 8 pi nu square tau r into z of nu into i nu into p e minus p a okay so this is a equation we obtained for d i nu by the change in um, 
energy irradiance with respect to the Z axis. So substituting gamma naught uh, that is equal to V square by 8 pi nu square tau r Z of nu into P E minus P A. So except the I nu value in the previous uh, case, the remaining term is taken as nu, uh, sorry, gamma naught. So therefore, D I nu by D Z Is it taken as D I N? Oh my god, it's a do I N. Okay, the change is only along this uh, direction. No problem. So we can mention it as new naught into here it is. Uh, yes, I new. So P E, if the emission is greater than uh, probability of absorption then nu naught is positive and if the emission is less than pa then uh, gamma naught gamma naught is negative if emission is greater if emission is greater then it is greater than absorption the first case so it is called as gain that is the optical gain if absorption is greater than emission and it is called as optical loss okay so that's all uh, for uh, today's lecture uh, let us see the remaining things in the next class okay thank you students